needs to find a new purpose for our, you know, storytelling. We are known for telling stories. This time around, we wanted the story to focus on introducing this interesting, cool world. Slowly, we formed this idea of this strange place, a world that you can explore with the character with powers that are uh, stemmed from uh, both partially from these kind of older horror movies uh, that feels like a superhero and um, connected with the, uh, the kind of uh, new weird uh, setup. I don't know if you're familiar with new weird, but you know, it's in a, as a literary genre, um, it borrows aspects from science fiction and, and horror and takes those things and twists them into something new and exciting and, and fresh. And so we were really inspired by that. We're actually trying to get back to our roots a little bit and really building up great action uh, along with that really interesting story. For the fans of, of Remedies games, you know, it'll have that story, those unique characters, of course. But then I think the setting is something a lot more unique than what we've done, done before. We're really opening up the options that we're giving the players and how they experience the story. Um, it's far less linear than any game that we've ever built before, and we're making this really cool uh, interconnected world. And so you can revisit spaces that you've already been to before, and things might change about some of those spaces. All of this is up to the player to pursue. A lot of secrets to be discovered, a lot of mysteries in this world, a lot of challenges uh, that the player can take on. And also from a storytelling perspective, uh, finding ways to tell the story through the environment and the gameplay is, is uh, important for us. And uh, sometimes it's even better when there is a certain kind of subtlety and restraint as well, that you see hints of something in the world and you start to form ideas of what that was. You create the stories yourself. And relying on these type of elements more allow the player to see and feel and kind of uh, play through the wall in their own way. With Control, we talk about it as it's, it's a very sort of gameplay-driven experience. And what that means is we want to make sure that gamers can sort of control the experience played at their own pace. Because of that, for storytelling, we have, you know, we have found ways to make the story more flexible, depending on, on how the player is, is going forward. So the narrative in Control is different from previous Remedy games because it is less cinematic focused. There's a lot more environmental storytelling, gameplay and story are working hand in hand to tell the, the, the plot and develop the characters. Um, instead of just having a few levels that you can play through, we have a lot of different um, optional content that you can get involved with and uh, get into the deeper lore of the universe. Um, and there's a lot of surprises in there as well. Control takes place uh, in the headquarters of Federal Bureau of Control, a place called the Oldest House. Uh, it's this featureless, bleak, uh, concrete, brutalist architecture skyscraper in Manhattan, in New York City. A key starting point for us was to create this place that is sealed off from our reality. And through that comes certain kind of logical thinking that if they are that, it means that they need to be independent, they need to be autonomous. And that was one statement that helps us to define how to design this place. So the inspiration for the look of the oldest house is brutalist architecture, um, which actually if you, I'm from Washington DC and the FBI building there is a brutalist building. So it's kind of fun for me to, to see that in our game. But it, it represents the idea of control. It's concrete, straight lines, rigidity. Um, and meanwhile, there are these chaotic forces that are inside of it that contrast with that. So you, you have the hiss and you have these supernatural phenomena that sort of represent, represent chaos. And so you have chaos and order clashing uh, within the oldest house. And that's kind of the, the theme of the game. And looking at Jesse coming into this old bureau, which has existed for God knows how long, and, and bringing this breath of fresh air to the place. So when you look at all of these elements, you can see that there is that contrast 
and, uh, and contrast, of course, sets up conflict as well. And it is an action game, and conflict is at the heart of it, but it's not just the kind of gameplay level, but on kind of a thematic level as well for the story itself. It's not just what you think is going on on the surface. There's always something happening much deeper. And uh, I think that we're going to have some surprises on exactly how deep this world goes.